Hi, I'm Matthew Cooley, and you're watching My Lane Line. Hi guys, today we're going to be going over the five essentials to a good swim bag and what equipment a coach is going to expect you to have. first item on our list today is the swim bag, obviously. And the swim bag is one of the most fun items to pick out because there's so many shapes, sizes, patterns, and colors you can choose from. I personally suggest speedo bags, arena bags, and tier bags because they're extremely durable. I know people who have gotten a bag in freshman year of high school and it's lasted them all the way to senior year in college. I personally went with the Teamster bag from Speedo. This is the 35 liter one, and it's been able to fit everything I've needed for my practices and my swim meets. And I personally went with the mesh bag because it doesn't stink as soon. But something you can do if you get a bag that isn't mesh, you can buy those deodorizing balls that you put in your shoes as a runner and put them in your bag so your house doesn't start stinking like chlorine. The second item on our list is the kickboard. I hit my face. I suggest getting the basic kickboard shape because all these specialized kickboards that are out now are really a preference based thing and if you end up getting a kickboard that is some strange shape because it's more hydrodynamic you may end up hating it and not wanting to kick and that is the last thing you want for swimming. I got the basic one from my swim coach, it was gifted to me, and luckily it was a little bit larger than most of the other kickboards I've seen, and that's good since I'm a tall person. That's one of the main factors you're going to worry about when picking out your kickboard is how big it is in comparison to you, because it, its job is to keep you on the top of the water while you're kicking. The buoy. The buoy is really easy to pick out because the only real factors are what brand it is and what color it is. When you pick a buoy, definitely pick a brand like Tier, Arena, Sporty, Phoenix, and Dolphina because those brands are known and have been tested and the buoys will hold up over time. I know a few people who have bought buoys from brands I'd never heard of and they ended up deteriorating and falling apart and you don't want to be going to the store and buying another buoy after four or six months. Item four is paddles. Paddles, I really do suggest going to a sports store and trying on a few different pairs because everyone's hands are different and I can't really make a suggestion not knowing how your hands are. For me, my fingers are very bent like that. See, when I stick my fingers straight? So I couldn't use traditional paddles with the elastic bands because it would squish my knuckles up against the plastic. So I bought the Phoenix paddles that you don't need bands for. They just slide onto your thumb and these also help you keep your form in the water. So really when picking a paddle, you're going to want to go try a few different ones on at your local DJ Sports or Swim Freaks. You're in luck with item 5 because you probably already own it. It's a water bottle. I cannot stress enough the importance of having a water bottle at every single practice and at every occasion you swim. Hydrating yourself is so important and even though you don't know you're sweating, you are when you're swimming because you are working out and pushing yourself. Now, the only tip I would have when choosing a water bottle is find one that closes securely. Mine here has this lid here, but then it also has an extra lock at the back where you have to press this button to be able to drink. Why that's important is if your best friend Jim walks by and kicks your water bottle into the pool, you do not want to be drinking chlorine water. Trust me. Thank you for watching and I really hope that those few tips I said and this list was helpful to you. You may have noticed I left out suits, caps, and goggles, and that's because I plan on doing future videos specifically on those topics only because they're so complicated and very vast. Thanks for watching. See you next time.